welcome to Tonic Studios. Happy Wednesday. It's great to be back. I hope you are having a great evening. There you are, great. <laughs> Give me the sign to say we need to turn our volume off. Um, thank you so much for all of the well wishes for Maddie from last week. We hope you enjoyed our pre-recorded live. If you missed it, you can check it out on YouTube. It was the reveal of the Woodland Walk kit. And if you are watching on YouTube, you can check the top right hand corner because we do all put all of these videos on YouTube after we've gone live. So you can check that out too. Um, but we do have a few Woodland Walk kits still left. You can check out the links if Greg doesn't destroy my room before the end of tonight's oh life. <laughs> and uh, you can check those out too. Now, tonight I am launching the March Flash Sale. So I have that launch coming up for you this evening. Of course, we have our regular giveaway too, which we have during every Wednesday night live. And so if you are new to the Tonic Studios USA lives, welcome. We give away a Tonic goodie bag every single week. Well, how do you enter? You need to share this live video whilst we are live. And to do that, just hit that share button, the little arrow, and then leave us a comment to let us know that you've shared it. If you're watching on YouTube afterwards, the giveaway is now closed. There'll be a little banner along the bottom. However, join us next Wednesday, 8 p.m. So I actually won't be next Wednesday, it'll be the Wednesday after. Next Wednesday, we'll have a YouTube premiere again for you because I will be in Palm Springs attending a conference. We'll have lots of coverage of that on social media, but we will still have a um, kind of live for you. But Greg will be watching along with you and chatting so you can chat with him over on YouTube next Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And we'll have some fun things going on. And we'll have a special sale for you too. with some great things going on there. However, before we get started with the March flash sale, I want to tell you about a video that went live last night. I filmed a TV segment for Tonic at the end of last year. It's just gone live on PBS around the US. And I also put it onto the Hedgehog Hollow YouTube channel. You'll find there's a link in the video description for this Facebook video. And again, if you watch it on YouTube, it'll be in that video description. But these are the new Tonic Media dies. They are now available here in the USA as a limited edition release. So why are these dies so special? Well, they cut chipboard, they cut leather, they cut the new gray board that's coming out, that new mixed media material. Um, they are available in six designs. So we have these frames and on the back they have the inset pieces and some tags and things. There are keys available, I love these keys. There are cogs, there are clocks, and there's also a shim available. And I recommend you get the shim because you can cut these in your tangerine, you can cut them in your Gemini, you can cut them in your Big Shot, you can cut them in your Spellbinders machines, you can cut them in any machine, but you do need to play around with the shim. And each machine I cut them in, I needed the shim each time. Um, so I would recommend getting the shim, but they are fantastic. And rather than having to have a steel rule die to cut those thicker materials, you can cut them with these thin steel dies, um, like a thinlets die, but they're a little bit thicker, they're a little bit sharper, they're amazing. And you want to go and check out the project that I did and I showed you how I created it with um, expanding mousses and gilding flakes and my favorite deluxe adhesive. Plus I have a code for 20% off of these dies for the next two weeks. So go check that out after this live video. Let's check in with and see who is here. I see Karen from the design team is watching. Hi, Karen. Um, Billy's here and Becky, Chana, Michelle, Suzette, um, Julie's here. Greg, of course, is here too. And <laughs> Arlette is here. Um, Greg's funny because I can't see any of you. Greg, 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 Greg. <laughs> um, uh, I see 13. Uh, lots of you here. Loving the purple. Thank you. Yes, I changed. Lots of you sharing too. Um, hi, Sue. You're here as well. Um, lots of you joining us awaiting the terrarium hamper. Thank you for the hair as well. Um, yes, move to the Christy's just joined us moving to the purple. Yes, I moved back to purple. My hair changes regularly. If you watch the live, you will notice that the hair shape changes. Greg's totally used to it by now. He's given up on trying to uh, worry about what color my hair is. There is a funny story about us being 15 and he turned up to um, a date we were on and he was expecting the blonde haired girl he dated two days beforehand and I had bright neon pink hair, not what he expected. Since then, I think he's just given up. 
So anyway, let's launch into our March flash sale. So what's in our flash sale this month? It's all about the inks. And again, I have put links in that video description for you if you have some other coupon codes which you may have picked up from around the hollow. You can stack those on top of these too. Um, so I, it's all about the inks. So I've grabbed all the things that are in this month's flash sale. So we have all of our full size Nouveau uh, hybrid pads. Let's pop them the right way around to you. So they are here. We also have all of our mini, oh, they're stuck to my misty, my mini hybrid ink cubes. And we have our stamp cleaner and we have our stamp scrubbing pad too. So all of this is included in our flash sale this month. So I'm going to give you some hints, some tips, some questions I've had about hybrid inks and some of my favorite things to do with hybrid inks. So I thought we could kind of have a play around with them. And I'm going to give you some hints and tips with the cleaner as well. So what's so special about hybrid ink? Why do I rave about hybrid ink all the time? Why is Greg fed up of hearing about hybrid ink pads? I didn't actually say that. You kind of did. <laughs> you kind of did. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. So hybrid ink is awesome because you can use anything with it. So I'm going to use one of the new adorable stamp set. And I chose the elephant because it's Greg's favorite. See, I thought of you. You kept the elephant that I colored in the last video. It's still in his little um, photography toolbox. I say little, not so little. Um, and I'm going to use, let's go Spanish sangria. Hey, okay? We'll have a burgundy elephant. Maybe Greg will one day tell you about the story of Claret and Blue. The pub in West Ham. <laughs> There's a very funny story that I used to work in West Ham in London and the team's football colours are claret and blue and Greg, dad, grew up in London so he spent a lot of time going to the football in West Ham and I'm like, there's a really pretty pub across the street from where I work and it's, what do I call it? Oh, it's maroon. It's maroon and blue. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, no dear, it's claret. I'm like, oh, <laughs> sorry. So I've stamped it out in the sangria and the one thing I really like about hybrid pads is you get really nice fine detail. And I've got more detailed stamp, which I'll use in a second to show you the detail. But the great thing is, well, first of all, I'm really impatient. So I'm going to heat dry it. You do not need to heat dry. Okay, I'm not going to heat dry it with that one because that one isn't plugged in. Maybe the other one is. Let's see. No, neither of them are plugged in, I don't think. Greg, can you plug me in, please? Hang on, I'm texting. Well... So I'm going to get Greg to um, plug me in, please. Yeah, thanks for that, Greg. <laughs> thanks for that. Thank you. So I'm just going to quickly heat set it. Now, hybrid ink probably needs about 35 seconds, 30 to seconds to a minute to dry. Because we're in a live, I'm going to heat dry it just because it's going to expedite that process. If you're on a non-porous surface with hybrid, you're also going to want to heat set it. So there you go. So Michelle says, Greg, I finally got some sticky sheets because I know you love to hear about them. Yeah, I can never hear enough about sticky sheets. Sticky sheets. Sticky sheets. Okay, so we've... That's what I'm texting, actually. So you've, <laughs> once you've got your hybrid ink and it's dry, you can now use anything. So before, when we used to want to use Copics, you would have to think about what ink you're going to use. You'd always have to use a water-based ink. And this is one of the rules about ink that you um, may or may not know is that um, when you're using inks, opposites attract. So um, so when you're using inks, you want to think of the opposites rule. So if you're using alcohol-based markers, you want to use a water-based ink. If you're using water-based colors, so you like your watercolors, your watercolor pencils, then you want to use an alcohol or solvent-based ink. Whereas if you're using hybrid, you can use either because a hybrid is a hybrid of the two different types of ink. So you can therefore do either. So you can use um, your alcohol markers with it. You can use your watercolors with it. You can use your Gamsol with it. You can use anything with it. And hybrids will work on non-porous surfaces. You just need to heat dry them. So 
there's a tip for you. You don't have to use the opposites attract rule anymore, but if you do have other inks, just always think of the opposites attract rule. So I can show you here, I've grabbed some watercolors and I probably didn't grab really the appropriate things. But here I have my aqua flows, so I can use, and I'm gonna purposefully go right onto the line, but it's not going to smudge. I'm gonna grab one of my um, alcohol markers. Again, I'm not grabbing the right colors here, but I'm purposefully going to go over the lines. And then I'm gonna bring it closer to you. And you're gonna see, oh, and by the way, Greg has a new lens, so he can get even yeah, closer to more. you. Did anybody notice that you can get much closer now? So you're not gonna get any smudging. So here I've used watercolor, here I've used alcohol markers, and I can use the same mediums on the same project, and it doesn't matter. I don't have to think about the inks that I'm using, which is a fact that I love. I can also then take something like my Midas Touch, so this adds shimmer over the top, and this is a new one. And when you get your Midas Touch, you just have to remove your little yellow plastic collar. And then you screw this on. And you give it a little bit of a squeeze to get it going. Like so. And then you can then put that over the top and add shimmer to anything. Again, I'm going a little bit over the top, but I'm going over all of those lines. Um, and then you can see there that it hasn't smudged any of those lines. So the great thing about using a hybrid ink is it doesn't smudge anything. Okay, it's also pretty quick drying. As I say, I just heat dried it because I was impatient, I'm doing a live video. However, that means that you can't emboss it. Does that mean that you can never emboss it? No, there are tricks to be able to heat emboss your hybrid inks. But you're going to need a stamp platform. Now you can use a Misty, you can use um, a Tim Holtz stamp platform if that's what you have in your craft room. You can use whatever platform you have. So how do I heat emboss it if that's what I want to do? Well, this is what you do. You take your stamp platform, and actually I should have my one with the sticky sheet in because that would be so much easier. So let's grab our other one out. We've all just been chatting about that. Oh, of course you have. Okay, so you take your stamp platform with the sticky sheet in that you've all just been talking about, and you put your paper on your stamp platform like so, and you grab out your little elephant. And here we go. And we're gonna stamp our elephant in, what's this one called? This is the Royal Plum. And I'm sure Greg's gone back to chatting about sticky sheets. No, we're talking about lenses now. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to stamp this out in the purple. Now this is gonna dry really quickly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my stamp cleaner and I'm gonna use the Nouveau stamp cleaner on my tidy towel. Just a little spritz. Now there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can either spritz it with the spray or I really have the Brutus Monroe squeaky clean dispenser and this is how I like to do it. And this is like they have in the nail salons. So you just pump it like this and the stamp cleaner comes in the top and then I just kind of pick it up on my towel and one pump like that will last me one day of stamping. I very rarely ever then use it a second time. And it took me two of the stamp cleaners to add in here. So particularly when it's on sale now, you could get two and pop it in a squeaky clean dispenser. And I mean, I stamp all the time and that's the amount I've used there. That's about three months worth of stamping. So that's December I filled this up after the Brutus Monroe Christmas party. So once I've done that, I'm gonna make sure this is nice and clean. And of course I haven't moved it either. Then I'm gonna grab my clear mark pad. I'm gonna ink up my elephant again. So if you convert fully to a hybrid power, which lots of you I know have done or want to do, you can then just clear mark over the top, grab your crystal, crystal, bleh, crystal clear embossing powder. This is the super fine. 
And I'm just going to sprinkle some over my Nelly. Give her a little flick there. And then take this out. And then we can, I didn't use my anti-static pad, we can heat her up with our Wagner heat tool and we'll need Greg to plug that in too. Under the table. I'm plugging, I'm plugging. And so then you can just heat this up. And now you have an embossed hybrid image. So there's our embossed elephant. So you can absolutely emboss your hybrid inks and that's exactly how to do it. You just need to have a stamp platform. So if you convert to hybrid inks, it doesn't mean that you can't use them like a pigment ink. You just add that little extra step in of cleaning it. Now, some of you also asked me last time about the Nuvo scrubby pad and how does this work? So. This is what it looks like inside. So you have the two scrubby panels like this and there's a wet and a dry side. Now with mine, um, this is a new one that I grabbed out because mine is, is not as clean as this. Um, now, what I do is I add um, a little blue Sharpie in one corner or you can add a W and a D. And then I have also on mine a little label wet and dry that I add on using my P-Touch. And you can also then wash these. That's what I do with mine. So regularly I will, probably for me every month, maybe every other month if, if it's lucky, I will just put a squirt of Dawn on mine, run it under the tap in the kitchen, and then I will give it a clean and let it dry. And that keeps it nice and clean and it extends the life of this. But what you do is you take a dirty stamp when it's on its acrylic block. So let's take the elephant we used earlier. And what I do, a couple of sprays onto my wet side and you give it a little scrub on the wet side there. And then you give it a scrub on your dry side and you have a clean stamp. It's a really, really easy way to clean your stamps. And I particularly like this if I've been using, I have one of these that's dedicated to Stazon or Archival. So I have one that's kind of dedicated to my solvent based inks, which I really, really like. Um, and I find it's a particularly efficient way of cleaning those. Now, some other things I wanted to show you with hybrid inks. I wanted to put down a little bit of Press and Seal, which is one of my favorite hacks around the craft room. I'm just going to pop this down. I have a little bit of alcohol ink cardstock. I also wanted to read your comments because I know Greg's been chatting with you, but I haven't. Um, hi, Deb. I see you've joined us too. Um, lots of chat about sticky grid and lenses. Poet Spice has just joined us. Juanita's just joined us and Laurel. And Lisa says she loves the stamping pad that she, I'm using as well. Um, lots of you loving this, the scrub pads too. Hi Denise, Denise has just joined us in Trinidad. Um, and Isabella says she didn't know you could wash the stamp pad. Yeah, the stamp pads are great. I would recommend washing it because otherwise you end up actually making your stamps dirtier. So all you can do is put a um, squirt of Dawn onto it, foam it up with your hand and then rinse it off. If you haven't rinsed yours in a while, it might take you a couple of goes to rinse it off really clean. Um, but just rinse it off, um, warm water, and then just kind of stand it up like this next to the sink to dry. Make sure it's thoroughly dry before you close it up. You don't want to trap any moisture in there. But yeah, you can absolutely clean them and then it'll extend the life for you. And you'll find you have super clean stamps again. So I'm just going to throw together a quick alcohol ink panel. I also need a little bit of blending solution. Like this. So I'm just going to... And I always do my alcohol ink panels on press and seal because it avoids any clear up. 
and I'm all about avoiding the clear up. And Greg's all about avoiding the clear up too. So I'm just going to pop down some alcohol ink. And the reason I want to do this is because I want to show you how well um, hybrid inks stamp on non-porous surfaces. So I chose some light colours so that I could stamp over the top of it. I'm starting to doubt whether I chose alcohol ink cardstock at the minute, just because of the way it's reacting, but it said it was in my little divider, so I'm going to trust my divider was right. You're trusting your organisation skills. Yes! Mm -hmm. It said Ranger alcohol ink cardstock, she says. No, it's not drying right, so it definitely is. Yes, it was. Greg, are you trying to say that I'm not organised? Yes. You're mean. <laughs> it's mean and it's hurtful. Hey. <laughs> My craft room is the most organised room in this house. Um, no, the bits that you know I can't show people on camera are not particularly organised. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> All the bits you see on camera look fantastic. I know where everything is. Hmm. I could lay my hands on anything you need. Okay, so I'm going to quickly dry this off. Jane's joined us from Northeast Ohio, so she must be local. Hmm. Lynn in Canada. Deanie in Texas. And I'm really organised. See? It's just Greg who thinks I'm not organised. Yeah, it must just be me. Okay. I don't know why I'm really caring how well this looks because I'm only going to use it as an experiment piece. But anyway. Honestly, alcohol inks are so easy and normally I would work on Yupo paper and if you're experimenting with alcohol inks, you put papers even better because you can just wipe it off. If you don't like what you've got, you just take some blending solution and you wipe it off and off you go again. Um, anyway. And something else that's really cool with alcohol inks is I've got some really thick pieces here. So where I've got like the edges here where I just put this last bit down, they're really thick. If Greg goes in... That second draw down on the right, there's loose foil on the right. No, that other right, that's it. The one that I have to move all the crap out of the way first to get to. No, the cart that's on wheels, that's supposed to be, there's loose sheets of foil in there. Yeah, just grab one of those. So there's foil in this drawer. And what you can do is, this is just regular like thermoware foil that you'd use with adhesive. And you can put this over the top. Hi, Else. And what you can do is you can just pop that over the top and anywhere that you have thick alcohol ink it acts like an adhesive and you just give it a second now you can accentuate this process by running this through a laminator at this point obviously I don't have a laminator set up right now to go through because this is just supposed to be a quick demo but this one was a really good one and you can see it picks up that foil so if you have your alcohol inks out and you want to add a little bit of extra to it, you can just um, add a little bit of foil to it. And you can reuse that piece of foil. You can go back and back and back and just keep adding um, foil to it. And each time just keep reusing. And that's why I have all those loose sheets in there because when I'm using my alcohol inks, I'll just go and add bits of foil to it. So it's just a cool, um, just a cool little extra technique you can add to your alcohol inks. Anyway, it was only supposed to be a background that I was going to share with you. But what I was going to do was use a really detailed stamp. So I just grabbed something out of my stash here. This is a Tim Holtz stamp called Fragments. It's one of his newer ones. But I wanted to show you how you can use your um, hybrid inks on non-porous surfaces. And you can get really pretty 
details. Now, if you want to know more about adding foils and doing things like this, I have tons of videos on um, this on the Hedgehog Holly YouTube channel. It's a video I recently did on alcohol pearls and I went through lots of ideas of like adding foil and adding different techniques to alcohol inks. So there's tons of things like that if you want to get into alcohol inks and things. But this was more just as a background because people ask me about, oh, how do you add hybrid inks to non-porous surfaces? So here you can see I've stamped over the top of my alcohol inks and I've got loads of beautiful detail. This is a really detailed, intricate stamp. And just with one stamp like that, I've got a really pretty detail and I've got all that intricacy and it's stamped on a non-porous surface. I could also stamp over the top of the foil and I could build up a background. So I could go over here and I could add more tiles like this. I could grab a different fragment. Let's grab, I mean, I haven't used these yet, but I just wanted to show you that hybrid inks are super versatile. And this, um, the large pads come in black, they come in brown, there's a green here, I've got a blue, a red. Um, But one thing you will need to do is you will need to heat set this. So in a second, we will heat set this with our heat gun. And again, you can see I'm still stamping on my press and seal love my press and seal because in a minute I will just roll it up and I will throw it away and then I am done. So you can see that's just a really pretty background panel that we can mount up onto a card. Super pretty there and all I will do is I'll pop this to the side and we can clean these off really easily. I'll just do this, grab a little bit of this And if you've got lots of intricacies like this stamp, you can see I get a little bit of my ink stuck in here. I can just grab my pad and if I want, so now I want a clean work surface. Just get rid of my press and seal, off it goes. I just go onto my wet side, scrub my stamp, scrub it clean. And now I have a nice clean stamp. I can do the same with my other one. And I kind of go around, left, right, up, down. Do the same on the other side and I have a nice clean stamp. And I'm ready to go. And then it's all done. And then if I wanted to make this into a card, I could make a really pretty card really easily. So I can trim this down. Let's see, let's take a little bit off of this side. A little bit off of this side. So I'm trimming this down to five inches. Can you fix it? Yeah, I realized that when I put it into my um, guillotine and I realized it was all still wet. So we're gonna heat it. But it didn't smudge. It's only the alcohol ink that was actually still wet. So I will show you how to clean it off your guillotine when you do those silly things like I just did too. Um, so the cleaning pad is in our March flash sale. Links are in the video description. Um, and the foil is just regular foil. The one I used was a Thermoweb foil, a Gina K Thermoweb. Um, but you could use anyone's foil. And if you're watching it on YouTube, they will all be in the video description for you. So everything I use, I pop into the video description. If you're watching it on Facebook, um, you can hop on over to buy them. Or if you wait about an hour after the video, we upload it onto YouTube and all the links will be there. So if you want the exact foil I use, the links will be up there for you. But that's what you have to do to dry it. So super easy to dry. Um, 
and I'm gonna grab a little bit of my favorite black velvet paper, which is the one that we have the 30% off with our special code this month. And I'm gonna use, it's nice and dry now, my Nouveau tape runner. And I'm gonna get Greg to get me a card base. And they are, of course, your room is so well organised, we know where yes. everything is. It's in the top right of those plastic tubs up there, Greg, right oh. at the front. Yeah, you see? That's how well organised it is. No, Nikki, no, no. Yes, it was right there, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm sticking this onto some of the black velvet paper, and I have all of mine pre cut because it's always the same size that I mat onto. Like so. And can I have the bone folder out my tool kit, please, over there that you moved out the way earlier? No, to the right. Right, right, there, over there. One of those two, thank you. And this is the new Paper Glide Teflon bone folder. Again, I'm gonna do the same. And then after the video, I'll find a pretty, see, I'm shedding alcohol ink. Don't forget to fold out the white thing when you stick it on so it's properly mm, flat. Thank you, dear. God. That's your own tip. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll find a pretty sentiment to put on it. But that's just going to be a really pretty, quick, easy card. I mean, how gorgeous does that look? And all I'll probably do is it maybe die cut one of those new tonic strip sentiments across the front there. And there I have a really pretty card. So really quick and easy. And you can see that hybrid ink on the top. Actually, the hybrid ink isn't what's shred shedding, it's the alcohol inks that's shedding on me. So, um, but really quick and easy. So, and there's my tip about the press and seal too. So I love hybrid inks and I'm super excited that they are our March flash sale. So don't forget to check out our March flash flash sale, I can't even say it. March flash sale that is going on for the next week or so. Uh, super great deals on there on the inks, the ink cubes, the ink, the stump cleaner and the scrubby pad too. Links in the video description. Don't for also forget to check out the mixed media dies that are on there and that special coupon code and the video of how I use them for the PBS Make It Artsy show. If Make It Artsy is sh airing in your area, oh my goodness, tongue twisters this evening. Um, if it's airing in your area, be sure to watch it. I have some other segments on there too, but there's how to make your own stencils. There's tips with expanding mousse on there. There's all about the mixed media dyes. There's so many different things in there. There's lots of tips and techniques too. Also how to customize twine to make your own fun colors, how to make a home decor canvas. There's foiling techniques I did. What other things did I do for them? Um, I'm trying to think, what else did I do for this one? Make it artsy. Chris, I don't know. You just sat in here for hours and hours on end. Um, oh, anyway. No, I wasn't paying attention. I was just filming. Oh, the art spree markers, how to do iron on oh, ink. Cool. They were really cool. And there was one other segment. I did four segments this time. Oh, how to make custom colors of vinyl with alcohol ink. That was another one I did. That was really cool too. So lots of fun things coming up and they will also be on my YouTube channel as well. So if you want to see that, you can do. Um, but do check out the March Madness sale, check out the March Flash sale and check out the media dies because they are a limited edition here in the States. So if you want them, grab them quickly and we have lots of fun things coming your way. Don't forget, next week will be a premiere and Greg will be there chatting with you because I'll be over in Palm Springs at a conference. I'm gonna have to coat all of my own. Be so nice. look after him. <laughs> he will be chatting with you. We'll be pre-recording it this weekend. We've got some fun things in store with you. I know you're gonna love them. It's a new release as well. So it'll be something new and exclusive. So you won't want to miss it. And the link will be published on the Tonic Facebook page during the day so you can hop over at 8 p.m. Eastern for that premiere. And then I will be back the week after, hopefully maybe with a little bit of a suntan too. And I'll be telling you all about my adventures over in California. I've never been to California. So if you've been to Palm Springs, let me know what I should be doing while I'm there. Um, of course, we need to pick a winner. So let me load up all of the comments. If you have shared tonight's video, or if you haven't shared it, you've probably got about another 30 seconds to share and leave us a comment. Hi, Rosie to let us know that you have shared it either on your Facebook page or your crafty Facebook page or a crafty Facebook group or all of the above. You can share it as many times as you like. 
quickly hit that share button and um, you can be entered to win a tonic goodie bag. So I will now start scrolling. I kind of scroll to the top and then I pause at the closest share. So the closest share to where I stopped, I always scroll down to the closest one. The closest share is Denise Dolores Joseph Mills. So congratulations, Denise. Thank you so much for being with us this evening. Be sure to send us a um, message with your snail mail information so we can get a goodie bag out to you. And be sure to join Greg next week for that special premiere and I'll be back with you the following week for more fun surprises. I think it might even be, yes, it will be our Woodland Walk launch party the week after. So lots of fun things for that. So be sure to join me the week after and I will see you all again very soon. Happy stamping everyone and have a fantastic week. Bye.